Good morning, this is Deepak. Today is um, Thursday and I'm still in San Antonio in Texas and uh, I'm speaking at the Tobin Center tonight so if you're in uh, San Antonio, Texas, maybe you can come uh, tonight. Uh, I think the talk is around 7 to 9.30. So I'm continuing to answer your questions and as you know, you can email your questions to me at um, info at jio.com. Once again, info, I-N-F-O, at jio.com. Most of the questions are coming from readers of um, um, You Are the Universe, Discovering Your Cosmic Self. Uh, but you can send me questions on any topic. Uh, they're put in a queue and I respond to them in the order that I come and I try and do one answer every day. Ruth Cummins says, uh, Hi Deep. Hi Ruth. Aloha, Amanda Giselle. Okay, let me go on um, to today's question. And the question comes from Zara Ahmed. Zara Ahmed. <clears throat> she says, what is the twin flame concept? Do soulmates really exist? Five years ago, when I was going through the phase of enlightenment and things were manifesting themselves, I met another half part of my soul, a person who was my mirror. That person made me feel whole and acted as a spiritual catalyst for me. Uh, sometimes I get confused that enlightenment, which means one with the source, made me whole um, with that person who was my yang, uh, uh, who was my yang. I think you mean your ying, but it doesn't matter. Yang and Ying came together. Uh, please con clear this confusion. Because two things happened to me at the same time. Love for the source that was extremely ecstatic and love for my um, twin flame or soulmate that was extremely sensual and spiritual. I have no words to describe it. Uh, now I'm in separation with that person because as that enlightenment peak got dimmed, my energy with him became um, um, unparalleled, disconnected. I have distanced myself from him because we have such a sensitive bond. I know that we both love each other a lot and may all, maybe always will. That unbounded relationship with him um, now is resisting me somewhere all the time. So uh, maybe I need to make a bond with someone else. From Pakistan, Zara Ahmed. Okay, Zara, so let me try and uh, uh, clear this confusion a little bit, if I can. See, uh, when we say soul, uh, for different people, it means different things. Okay, and so let me define um, for you what um, I understand as soul. Uh, what I understand as soul is um, your core being, which has been influenced by your experiences of the past. Whether we want to use the word karma or not, doesn't matter. But our experiences of the past and our interpretations of the experiences of the past have created some core values. Those values include uh, our desire for connection with our source or spirit, uh, our desire to bond with others in meaningful relationships, our uh, purpose in life, the contribution that we want to make, the peak experiences that we've had, and the people we bond with emotionally and spiritually, uh, the story of our life and how it has influenced us, our unique skills and talents, 
and um, uh, those that we admire in history, mythology, religion, uh, spiritual mentors, and our role models. So all of this creates a core consciousness that we call our soul from which emanate our experiences in the form of sensations, sense perceptions, uh, images, feelings, emotions, thoughts, and everything that we call uh, everyday reality. Everyday reality is a projection of our personal soul, but it's also influenced by our collective show, soul because we are part of a shared mind, we are part of a shared ecosystem, we are part of a shared planetary um, system, we are part of, uh, um, at a deeper level, uh, shared emotions, and in the deepest domain, we are members of the same body, which we call um, planet Earth, and ultimately the cosmos. So, um, when you say uh, you found a soulmate or a twin flame, what it really means is that you're, uh, you're um, vibrating at the same frequency at the level of consciousness, that you share the same deep, deep inner values. And that can create an amazing uh, relationship at every level. It can create what is called sensual and sexual ecstasy, which is very physical. It can create um, mythical ecstasy, which inspires both people in a relationship to do extraordinary things, not only for each other, but um, um, for the whole world, because you fall in love with the whole world when you deeply fall in love with another person. And also it can give you the experience of what is called sacred ecstasy, which is a direct connection with the source of all that exists, the source of the universe, your inner core being being connected to the source of the universe. So a soulmate is a wonderful experience to have, if you want to use that word. Um, a twin flame is an amazing uh, experience to have. Um, but then what happens when it's no longer the case, uh, which also happens frequently. And I'm going to come back uh, to that in 15 seconds after I've fulfilled this obligation to Facebook. So, thank you. Uh, for that 15 second uh, uh, break and uh, now uh, let's go further. As I come back I'm seeing Gina Renee Parker's uh, comment. She says, my twin flame morphed. So this is exactly what happens, you know, when we have uh, uh, different rates of um, evolution, emotional and spiritual evolution, what was resonating at one frequency synchronistically <coughs> starts to create a disconnect. The resonance uh, falls away and then you feel separated from that particular relationship and you feel separated uh, from, um, in a way, even from the source at that time because that relationship was your conduit um, um, for the source. Ultimately, we're all seeking to be one with the source, the source of all that exists. And that source is pure consciousness, a pure possibility, immeasurable potential of all that was, is and will be. Infinite creativity, infinite love, infinite joy, infinite compassion, empathy, perfect peace of mind, loss of the fear of death, death, and inseparability with all that exists. That is transcendent ecstasy, it's sacred ecstasy. And it can uh, definitely override and uh, uh, be more than a substitute for the twin flame. 
because I don't believe twin flame can last forever unless you continue to evolve at the same uh, um, at the same uh, frequency all the time, which is not difficult because our emotional and spiritual evolution is influenced by situations, circumstances, events, relationship, um, media, collective consciousness, and everything that happens on a daily basis. So even identical twins uh, soon become completely different people, even though they shared the same DNA, even though they shared the same DNA or the same genetic code. So the goal, of course, is to experience sacred ecstasy, where the inner uh, feeling is, I am all bodies, I am all minds, I am all emotions, I am all possibilities, and uh, I am as a personal body, but also a collective body and ultimately a universal body. And they're all equally mine. And that's an amazing feeling. It is um, to recognize uh, love as the ultimate truth at the heart of creation, not as a sentiment, not as an emotion, but the glue that holds all that exists together and in fact uh, all that exists as the universe. So I am is pure love. I am is focused on none and denied to none. It shines brightly from your being like light from a bonfire. Um, and um, therefore illumines uh, all that exists with pure love. It is ultimate freedom as well. So um, it is true unbounded relationship with all that exists. It's the experience of flow, it's the experience where there's no resistance, no anticipation, no regrets, timeless being and presence of divine spirit in every eternal now. Hope that answers your question. Okay, thank you um, Zara Ahmed. You know when I was in medical school in uh, India at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences there was a person who was one year junior to us uh, and her name was Zara Makbul Ahmed and seeing your email reminded me of her and I wonder where she is and what she's doing. All the best.